feels like our happiness is under constant assault by society. And this is no accident. We're constantly suffocated by content that makes us feel like crap. When it comes to achieving career and personal success, there's a whole economy around selling instruction and promises of a better life. Social media, life coaches, billion dollar corporations, they all swear that we won't be happy until we buy their product. You need to know this. So I'm gonna give you three things that made all the difference in my life. Well, what we're gonna get into today, guys, is the easiest way to make a couple extra thousand bucks a month online if you have no skill set. So if you click the link, click the link below. It's actually on my website. You can click here. I'll see you over on my website in just a second. But in reality, our happiness isn't contingent on achieving the professional and material success contained in these books, videos, and articles. We spend a majority of our lives chasing goals, and that's okay. What's not okay is doing so at the cost of the other important aspects of life. So it's important that we find a balance between chasing our ambitions and appreciating what we currently have. To avoid wasting away our lives, we need a change in mindset. It starts with self-acceptance and appreciating what we currently have. And there's perhaps no better way to appreciate our current lives than remembering that we're gonna die someday. And at the end of life, the number one regret that people have is spending most of their time doing things that they don't really want. The number two regret, not staying in touch with friends and family. We often find ourselves chasing after the wrong things and living a life that others have prescribed. Our definition of success is often derived from what we're told and what we see on TV and in the media. One of the reasons self-help material is so successful is because they perpetuate this mindset that you need something external to be fulfilled. I've read a lot of self-help books and I've listened to a lot of self-help help books on tape too. And a lot of, there's some of them that I have to shut off. I have to shut off a quarter way and I feel like someone's lying to me. I just like, you're bullshitting me. You're just saying things. This, uh, I'm not, this doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't, right. it's not working. Right. Like I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance. But if I'm, you know, half hour in, two hours in, it's still the same nonsense. I don't feel anything. Right. I'm, just, I'm getting itchy listening right. to you. Just, <laughs> you know, I just want to pull the headphones off and I'll just kill it. And I'll what stop. we really need is a personal definition of success. Because if we don't do so, society will do it for us. We need to look inside of ourselves and ask, what do I want? It boils down to three things for me. Doing fulfilling work, staying in touch with loved ones, and having a deep appreciation for what we already have. This, I believe, is critical to happiness. And what we'll find is that success doesn't lead to happiness as often as happiness leads to success.